Hi everyone, Redneck Computer Geek here, and today we're going to be working on installing this deck onto this 1170 series Cub Cadet. Now this how-to applies to a couple of different versions of MTD as well. Basically, if you have the series that has the double pulley that's on the back, so that you have one belt going across the top and one belt going through all the pulleys on the deck, then this applies to you. This is for the series that has the electric clutch. And a lot of times, as we can see here, there's all kinds of furbish that gets into the center area. So these will get pulled quite often to be able to work on, to be able to repaint them and put them back together. Now, recently, I was working on getting the furbish out of the center of this. And needed to go and reroute the belt that had jumped and put on brands making new blades. I'll post up a picture of the belt diagram and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay another picture that shows the routing of the top belt and now I'll overlay another picture that shows the routing of the lower belt because the Cub Cadet diagram is practically worthless. Now what we're going to end up doing with this is this is much easier if you have a bungee cord and you can bungee cord up this front section. And any of these that have this really big bar, this is pretty much how you do it. On the back here, I'll grab you guys for a sec. On the back here, you have these clasps that are kind of like a Fisher plow or something like that. And you want to pull them back and have them set like this. The idea being that this bar right here with that hole slides down into here and lines that hole up eventually. Now we're going to try to do this on camera in order to show you guys what's going on and go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is with this like this, we're going to slide it in and line up this with the front of this. Each one of these tabs is going to go on the outside of the washers that are welded onto the bar. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to push down on this, we're going to lift up on this, and set it on the bar. Okay, so we know we can line up, so now we're going to undo this bungee cord and drop it. So we're going to lift down on here, up on here, up, and then pull back so that we lock that into place. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lift up and put these pins in. So you got to pull this down like so. I'll see if I can show you guys what I'm doing here. So we've got the front bar put into place. I'm going to set you guys on here and I'm going to see if I can hold the camera and lift at the same time to do this. This is not a comfortable position. Let's try something else. Okay, so now I'm going to try to lift the deck and put this pin in with you guys sitting on the deck. Let's see if I can do this without throwing you guys around too bad. Like that, and then twist. And there we go. So now we gotta do the same thing on the other side. So now from the other side, I'm shooting the camera down through the deck so you guys can see it lift into place. So we just lift it up till we line up with that pinhole, and then rotate, and it locks in. Like so. Now, this routes around the outside of the flat pulley, around the outside of the V pulley, onto the electric clutch, and then comes back to here. With notably, this has to be on the outside edge. So what you're going to do is you're going to push on this, and pull it back and onto the pulley. 
and this will take a few tries usually. So if I get it like this, I can use the blade of the deck to rotate it and bring it around and bunk, there we go. So now we can bring the deck up and we should be all set.